So Vinayan sir is a director who has introduced a lot of heroes into the industry. Yes. So this time he is introducing a heroine. So what do you feel about that? I am fingers crossed. I just hope that all that luck and charm that all the other actors had, I also received that. I was only true to the script and uh, true to my director. Like whatever he said was the fact, was the truth to me. തിരുവോണ നാളിൽ തിയേറ്ററിൽ റിലീസിനെത്തുന്ന ഏറ്റവും പുതിയ വിനയൻ ചിത്രം പത്തൊമ്പതാം നൂറ്റാണ്ട് എന്ന സിനിമയിലെ നായിക കയാദു ആണ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മുടെ അതിഥി കയാദു വെൽക്കം വെൽക്കം നമസ്കാരം അപ്പൊ കയാദുവിന്റെ ആദ്യത്തെ മലയാള ചിത്രമാണ് മലയാളം സോ വോട്ട് യു ഫീൽ അബൌട്ട് ഓൾ ദിസ് മലയാളം ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി ആൻഡ് ദി ലവ് യു ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ഫ്രം ദി ഇൻഡസ്ട്രി um i i am grateful and i am hoping that the film does well and people really liked the film and like my character and talking about malayalam industry i had no clue that i would come and act over here because when vinayan sir called me and asked me to do uh, the character nangeli i was in a total shocker because it it is a periodic film and uh, i haven't done any film and so i don't have much of an experience in acting so and nangeli is a huge character and this film is is about history it existed before right so you need to be very uh, careful about the character and you need to be very aesthetic about it it has to be true to whatever is written and about the history so it was a shock for me to play in as nangeli in the film uh and I, i i wasn't confident about doing the character so vinayan sir was like no i i feel that you 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 will do the character you'll do justice to it so i was like blindly following vinayan sir i was just sailing in his boat and i was just following his vision so yeah i'm i'm really grateful being a part of this film and i hope that everyone likes the film and they accept me with huge arms <laughs> so we can expect you in more malayalam films in the future yeah of course i mean if you guys are open to take me in more malayalam film i am sure for waiting here for a long time so vinayan sir is a director who has introduced a lot of heroes into the industry yes. so this time he is introducing a heroine so what do you feel about that i am fingers crossed i just hope that all that luck and charm that all the other actors had i also receive that and i hope that i fly with good flying colors and um, yeah as i said i'm grateful that he chose me for this part and he thought that i am capable of doing uh, this character and i i just hope that it works out all well okay nangeli is a historical character so uh, what were the efforts you took for this character um to be honest um there are a lot of stories about nangeli mm-hmm. there are a lot of different stories there is a lot of controversy about it so i really uh, didn't wanted to confuse myself uh, because a i am not from here second i myself didn't had clue about this story so uh, for me to do more uh, research about it will make me more confused that what i thought so i was only true to the script and uh, true to my director like whatever he said was the fact was the truth to me because i didn't wanted to confuse myself and put a lot of pressure on me because already it is a huge thing for me to act in a periodic film acting in a periodic film is very different yeah. uh, you have to have a different body language yes. and on that you are playing a person who existed so to be aesthetic about it i i really didn't do a lot of information or research on nangeli but i read the script a lot of times i got all the narration from vinayan sir and i sticked to that but as nangeli physically the character was very demanding like i had to be very flexible it had a lot of uh, action sequence kalari fight and yeah kalari so i learned kalari i learned horse riding so physically it is a very demanding it was a demanding character so i learned kalari horse riding i also did a 15 day language training for my dialogue so i had a coach vinayan sir gave me a coach alakananda alakananda so we sat for 15 days we read through the script i did my dialogues pronunciation and little bit about the language so this is what i did as preparation for the part part yeah. 
so we heard that many of the actors were injured during the action sequences yes. so did you have any such experience or something uh, no i wasn't like injured injured but uh, yeah i had like sore arm or sore leg and uh, yeah but it was very very exhausting because we shooted at, at a stretch the whole film mm -hmm. so physically it was very very exhausting luckily i didn't get too much injured but my co-actors sudev siju they were like in terrible terrible uh, place like um yeah so i was like much injured but i enjoyed the exhaustion also <laughs> so your debut movie is with such a big man uh, yeah. so what do you feel about that uh i don't know how uh -huh. all of this turned out to be uh -huh. very honest it was you are really lucky to be yeah, associated yeah with i Sasha. mean i had no clue that i will i will be able to do this film at this stage of my career like yeah. i i had done only one film and i was like just figuring out what is happening okay where am i going what do i need to do in films i was thinking okay i'll do this type of film for now just to make my career go but then i got this call from vinayan sir and he's saying that no we have to do this and i was in shock i was like i don't know how will i do this and also backing um, gokulam sir backing up this film is is a very huge thing and you can see it on screen also like in phone also when you see the film you see the quality of the film so for me i mean i'm i'm really grateful that he also like agreed with vinayan sir to take me in the film so yeah i'm grateful to him also so the movie is releasing on september 8th and it's on am here so what do you feel about that you are excited yeah i am very much excited and i'll be here on onam also and i'll sit with audience and i'll watch and i'll see the reaction how they feel about the film and it it's a plus point like releasing yeah. this film on onam during and, a festival time yeah and also like it is it is the history of kerala right yeah. so uh, people will come and they'll also learn more about it and also celebrate the fact that the people from here they fought for the women mm. in kerala okay. and not only in kerala but all over india as we know jhansi ki rani tana mm. ji yeah. and uh, who else baji rao mm. so we all know these people, people but there are so many people who have fought for the right yeah. so i just hope that people get to know that from kerala also there was a story mm. where vela yuddha panikar nangi li they fought for the right and uh, they they did it well and now here we are <laughs> so what do you want to tell our audience who is coming to watch nangeli and patambada nootand um i would like to tell them like you have watched rrr you have watched kgf so now from malayalam patambada nootand is coming so you have to go and support this film and plus points it's vinayan sir's film like who wouldn't want to go look at vinayan sir's films yeah. right it's larger than life it's big and epic big event film so i would like to ask everyone to come with your family sit and watch and on big screen this film has a different uh, vision when you see it in phone you can feel it like it's it's a huge film so in uh, big screen you will enjoy the film it's a roller coaster ride a lot of action but with that there's a lot of emotion and uh, uh, not only emotion like a nerve cracking emotion like you will feel very angst like how can anyone do like this with a woman or with any other person this is so wrong and you will be very intrigued and into the film so yeah you should go and watch the film uh, on 8 september this onam appo ee onathine chitram erangugayana appo kayadu namukku oru ona shamsagal parnjondu find up cheya le namaskaram kerala ellavarkum onam aashamsagal thank you thank, thank you, you for the time thank you so much